Hi everybody, my name is Jose Garza. I'm a junior mechanical engineering student and I'm running for your new member representative. It's hard for me to put into words how much Shep has impacted me. When I started my collegiate career here at the University of Houston, I had no friends, I had no idea what was going on academically, and you could forget about any kind of career plan. But all of that changed when I joined Shep in the fall of 2020. It was through this organization that I finally had the college experience that I wanted. In time, I was eventually pushed out of my comfort zone and I became the athletic chair. While serving as your athletic chair this year, I created events that allowed people to show off their physical and athletic abilities, regardless of any experience that they had. As your new member representative, I wanna keep that feeling of belonging and togetherness as I recruit people regardless of their background or their choice of major. I plan to host monthly uh, new member socials that would allow new members to engage with current members in a more relaxed and comfortable setting. These can include things as volleyball socials, picnics in the park, movies, the list goes on and on. I also plan to recruit as frequently as possible, whether that would be in the student center, uh, in classrooms, or even at other professional events. And finally, to encourage our current members to recruit as well, I plan to host a contest allowing and incentivizing current members to bring new members not only to events, but also to meetings. I'm a good role for this, or I'm a good fit for this role because I'm very outgoing and I'm social, and I'm able to talk to people regardless of their backgrounds. I'm also very outgoing and able to um, organize events as I've experienced and shown through my experience as athletic chair. And finally, I've been in the situation that they've been in before, so I have that personal feel to them. To sum everything up, I feel like I was made for this role. Uh, having been in that boat where I have no idea what's going on to where I'm at now, I wanna be able to take somebody and have them and show them that experience and all of this is possible. Um, at the end of the day, I really hope you get to vote for me and thank you very much for your time. You said you are a mechanical engineer junior, correct? Mm -hmm. So if you ask anyone in chef, that's more than common in chef, right? Like we, you see mechanical engineer juniors all the time. And I, I think for all new member reps, uh, major diversification is something that's really important because you don't want to become like a huge ACME, you want to become a huge ACE, you want to be just for everyone. Uh, with uh, that being your background of like a mechanical engineer, how would you make sure that you're not just recruiting mechanical engineers? How, how would you like make go or you want to let like, recruit also more people? Sure, so the biggest thing that I would do is try to start as early as possible. I know whenever they have orientations throughout the summer, they have different colleges that go. So for example, the engineering college may be on Monday and then on Tuesday, the national or nat uh, natural science is there. My responsibility, my role would make sure that I go to as many of those as I can, showing those people that, hey, we may be considered an organization, but this is still for people that are STEM at the end of the day. And making sure, you know, diversifying, like you mentioned, uh, Shep does have a lot of mechanical engineers, my goal would be to improve recruitments for smaller organizations such as biomedical engineering, chemical engineering, even uh, petroleum engineering, which also, I don't think we have any petroleums in here. So that's one of my biggest goals to make sure we have one of those. Uh, and just making sure that the officers throughout other chapters as well, whether it be through NSM, College of Technology, even business, understanding what we have to offer and telling their members, hey, if you're interested in anything that's involved with STEM, make sure you go check out Shep. So I want to touch on Mimi eBoard, right? And our, the goal behind Mimi eBoard is to develop our new uh, members and to expose them to leadership teams. Have you given thought of a new initiative that you want to implement within the eBoard? Okay. So the biggest thing that I would do as far as that would be to pick our new mini eBoard earlier. Uh, I have a couple of friends that are in the mini eBoard as well, and their biggest complaint was that they were picked right before school started. So by that time, all of the event dates were already chosen. So they kind of got what was left, and you can see it now where they're struggling to host any kind of events for fundraising or just to put their name out there. My best idea to do would make sure that we recruit them before we start winter break. That way they have the entire winter break, not only to plan out events, but also pick days and times that benefit them and can get them as much exposure as possible. And you did say that you know members from the meeting. Yes, ma'am. That's correct. Great. Thank you. Hello, Jose. Very well spoken, I like that speech, thank you. Um, so, touching or remembering back whenever you were first introduced to Chef, can you tell me something that you really liked about that first 
um, conversation or introduction to chef. Sure. And then maybe think about something that after being involved, something that you didn't like or notice that could be improved and how you plan on doing that. Okay. So one thing that I really liked was how friendly everybody was. It felt that despite this being my first event that I had attended, I knew everybody for years. They came out to me, we talked, we were able to go out to eat afterwards, and I really liked that feeling of togetherness and finally feeling the place that I belonged. In time though, moving into the more uh, of a leadership role, I did notice too that sometimes cliques can be formed and it's really, really easy for that to happen, even without it being intentional. And so as a new member rep, my biggest priority would be to make sure that we diversify everything as much as possible, making sure that new members are meeting not only chairs and e-board, but other experienced members that have been in CHEV throughout the couple of years. And just making sure that uh, we have a lot of involvement, a lot of uh, events to kind of get everybody a little bit more of a relaxed setting to interact with without being as formal or professional as they would be at other events. Got it. Thank you. So, Jose, you are a great sport person. I have a hard question for you. Mm -hmm. Chef has created uh, Chef has created a great environment to make long, uh, lifelong friends. So the best thing that could happen in Chef is that you can have a friend, a study group. But how would you address member concern if they come to you and they say that they believe that your group has made Chef less inclusive? Now, this is your between personal interest versus organizational interest. How would you address that? Okay. So as far as that goes, it's one of those things too. First, addressing with the member, seeing the method and the reason why they're saying that. It might be a misunderstanding between my group of friends and that one individual. And so if that's the case, getting their perspective on it, working from that and then addressing my friends as well. At the end of the day, there is a distinction between a friend and a leader. And there's a line that, you know, sometimes you do have to step over as the leadership position. And so making sure that my friends or anybody else too understands, hey, at the end of the day, I need to be the professional one here. This is something that needs to happen. And just making sure that that feeling of being in excluded goes away as soon as it can.